A father from Folkestone, whose son was murdered 13 years ago in Sidcup, says he's alarmed by the record number of teenage killings in the capital. Colin Knox's son Robert, an actor in one of the Harry Potter films, was stabbed to death in 2008, the previous record year for teenage homicides in London. As Simon Jones reports, Colin's hoping a new documentary about his son will help to focus minds. Knox. I did one scene with him, and you could tell just from that and the commitment that he entered into it with that he was good. The stars of Harry Potter remember the life of Rob Knox. A confident, charming, very likeable guy. So I remember saying to Rob, you would be careful, don't eat too many, pace yourself. Luckily for the, uh, the humour in the scene, he ignored my advice completely and he didn't pace himself at all. He just ate and ate and ate. And they remember his death. We're all wearing white bands um, to commemorate Rob Knox. Stabbed protecting his younger brother, he died in 2008. In that year, there were 29 teenage homicides in London. Last year, that rose to 30. The effect is, I can't hold him anymore, speak to him anymore, hug him anymore. I can't see him get his first fiance, get married, his grandchildren. All of those things have been stripped away from me and the family. And it's totally unfair, you get one chance to live a life, only once, and that was taken prematurely at the age of 18. So when you hear that teenagers are still being stabbed to death, what do you feel? Groundhog Day. You wake up, you hear bad news, you go to bed, you wake up, you hear bad news, nothing's really moved on. Charities working to combat knife crime say there are new challenges. If you look at some of our most, most recent murders, Many of those have started from frivolous arguments between young people which have just exploded on social media and led to some tragic uh, circumstances. In a statement, the Minister for Crime and Policing said overall knife crime has fallen since 2019, but we are determined to eradicate this scourge. We are putting 20,000 extra police officers on the streets, empowering police to use stop and search to confiscate knives and investing significantly in early intervention programmes. Rob Knox's family hopes the documentary, which was premiered last year, will now find a wider audience to make people stop and think. Simon Jones, BBC South East Today, Hawkinge. And Nazanin has the weather.